A little less than a year into full-time development of Night in the Woods, we decided to do a second Longest Night game. We wanted to do something in the spirit of the first supplemental game, small, made within a tight time frame, full of things we thought were cool. We had a lot of systems and ideas we wanted to use for Night in the Woods, and this seemed like a good way to do a test run, to experiment, and to once again have something finished. And as with Longest Night, sometimes you just need to complete something. Lost Constellation went from concept to completion in the last five weeks of 2014. Wow, that's really fast. Alright. Ooh, yeah, this one is noticeably a little bit bigger, huh? I'm gonna rob the bank! Ha ha ha, you wanna spend the longest night in jail? Gonna rob him to death! They'll never catch me. There will be time enough when you're older for felonies in jail. Is that like my dad? What's a felony? Bad thing they put you in jail for. Not if they don't catch me. Okay, how about a story before bedtime? A longest night story. Sure. But not a dumb one like Charity Barity. How about a ghost story? Oh, yeah. All right then. I hope lots of people die in it. T Quiet, kid. I'm starting over here. Long ago in the hills. Ooh, so we're gonna... It's gonna be a ghost story. Far from home here, all right. Could just go back. No. It's been a year, and you made a promise. Get a hold of yourself. You're not gonna die in there tonight. You're gonna see her again. And come back with a star. Oh. Am I on a mission? To get a star? Alright. It's very cold, but... Whoa. Gather a snowball. Oh. Can I have more than one? Okay. What are those talismans? Should I be getting ready? Um... Wow, this fog is too thick. Weird fog. How do you get rid of weird fog? I don't know. Go away, fog! Ah, <sighs> how do I get rid of you? No. Nope. Um, by throwing a snowball at it? No. Is that not how that works? Can I not just, like, forget about it and go in anyway? No? Okay. Well, they let me gather some snowballs here. Ah! They weren't talismans. They were something a little bit more. How the heck do I get all of them? Those ones were really high. How do we... Oh, I can throw up. Okay. It's not a problem then. Oh, come on. Do we want to get all of them? Okay. That can't be a bad thing. I think the fog is clearing. That's good. Ah. Now we're good. Cat! Hey, cat! Do you live in this forest? Near enough. Oh, it talks. I don't know why I'm surprised that it talks when everything here has been an animal so far. Can I ask you a question? You're going to die in there tonight. Wow, that is unhelpful. Is it? Where are you going tonight? I'm visiting my relations, but first I'll go to church. <laughs> that sounds like your standard longest night. Before church, I'll hunt up a vole and eat it. And before that, I'll watch you walk into the woods to die. 
And before that, we'll say goodbye. Are you so sure? Brr. Well, goodbye. <laughs> that was the first step. We just said goodbye. What are you... Oh, I see. Goodbye. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? Uh, can I throw a snowball at the cat? No. I can't. I wanted to, but... Doesn't seem like that's a thing. Oh, I can't gather a snowball anymore. Okay. Is the longest night like an event or something? Everyone keeps saying that phrase. Where does this happen? Back where my grandparents came from, but long before they lived. Did they have the longest night back then? They did. Are they talking about like the winter solstice? The longest night? What did they call it? Longest night. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Can't get a snowball here. So I noticed those dots at the top corner of the screen. I don't know what they mean, but I assume they mean something. Ooh, what's that? Whoa, why is it all sparkling here? Hmm, what's this? Looks like a good spot for a snowman. All right. If you want to start making one, that would be pretty cool. I don't really know how to start making one. Oh, it's looking at the spot on the ground. But what about the spots on the trees? Yeah, maybe we'll come back with materials. Or not. Oh, we got a hand. Oh, okay. That's a good omen, I'm sure. <laughs> Crap almighty. Can I not- Hey, skeleton! No, I want the hand for my snowman. Come on, you can have it, can't you? Can I really not build a snowman? I don't know, it didn't really let me do anything. There's a mouse. Pilgrim! Hello, you! I'm Father Patience, forget not God. Wow, that's a name. It was gifted me when I was ordained. What was your name before? Butchy Mud. Okay, that's a change. Do you wish to say a prayer at this? The shrine of Saint Orlon Orolony? Who, beloved of the forest god? was shown the way to the chasm and the red bell and into his holy mountain? Oh, you said all that without taking a breath. <laughs> That's a lie, I did. You want to pray or not? Uh, why, yes I do. You may recite when ready. <laughs> okay. Let's go with the... Um, let's not be disrespectful here. Gracious tree lord, leafy and barked. The forest god is no tree! I thought that, you know, because of the forest. No tree can be a god! I'm not following this line of logic. So what can be a god? Not a tree, obviously! Go! Return when you have been granted knowledge! Oops. I failed the prayer. Can I pray? I just have to know? Or maybe I can look around. Huh. Well, the shrine... I don't know, man. Exalted bear and throne above. Bear? I figured the forest god was maybe a giant bear? The forest god is no mere bear! The forest god is no bear at all. Oh. Go! Return when you have been granted knowledge! I think we just don't know it right now because we haven't learned it yet. So it's probably not a deer monster either. Can I be granted knowledge here? Hello? Hello! Interested in a coffin? Uh... In the long... in the short term? You never know! These are hard times, and these woods will take your life. 
you're still alive. You can get out pretty easily, heading west. The problem is getting through to the east. That's exactly where we're going. Well, east is where I'm going, so... The trees here move, they'll confuse your path. They bend to the powers of the god of this forest. And you'll never obtain their permission to pass. So, this is why you're trying to sell me a coffin? I provide a service. If you pay me now, I will collect your remains and bring them back to your relations. You charge in advance for this? I can't really charge any other time. He's got a point. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I don't have any money. Uh-uh, no coffin for you then. And your ghost will be quite unhappy. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. No loss for me. I don't need a coffin if I'm dead by the time I need it. A skeleton? More skeleton hands. Oh. Well, we gotta figure out who the, the forest god is. Oh my god. Um. Hmm, what's this? Looks like a good spot for a snowman. Um. Are we looping? That's... That may not be good. Oh, hello. You want to pray or not? Okay, fine, fine. Let's pray and try the deer monster. Anyway, even though it's probably wrong. Enchanted deer monster. Hoovy in the night. D -d deer... Monster? Okay, I'll admit that one was a total guess. You clearly have not known our forest god. Listen, I'm not from around here and... Go! Return when you have been granted knowledge! Okay, well, clearly going to the east is not gonna help me out. So I'm gonna try to walk backwards and see if that yields anything different. Well, so far so bad. <laughs> yeah, I just keep saying hey skeleton, but I can't take it with me for my snowman. There's two arms, right? So I feel like it's gotta be it. What do you say about my ghost? Those that die here stay here. Their ghosts lie frozen until disturbed. Oh. All that's left of them are lumps in the snow and the things they brought with them. Gathering frost. Oh, what those ghosts could tell us in these hard times. Can I have a drink or something? No. <laughs> Alright. Well, I can try putting down snowballs on that sparkly spot, maybe? I don't know, though, because it can't... Yeah. Looks like a good spot for a snowman, that's all it- Ow! Oh my lord! Well, there we go. We figured it out. Good job, team. There you go. Okay. What about the body? Put that on. Oh! Oh, can I use my mouse for this? Yes, I can. Um... What do we want for eyes? Coal? The nose? Okay, oh, okay. Sure. And we will... Can we give it a nice hat or something? I don't know. We can have that. What about a smile? <laughs> well... Oh, I don't know. We can have like a... I don't... <laughs> There you go, we got a nice cap going on. Done. Ah! Oh my god! What am I? What's happening? What am I? <laughs> Help! <laughs> it's the ghost frozen in the snow. Are you okay? What am I? You're a snowman? I'm just water and garbage! How are you talking? I don't 
don't want anything! You wouldn't happen to know how to find the forest god, would you? There is nothing about me that isn't forest and sky! That's like a poem. What am I? You're like a poem. Ah! This snowman is no help. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Kill it and make a better one. Well, okay. You got that partly right. Which part? Listen up and I'll tell you. Not the remake part? So, you're what? A ghost? No ghost. Wait, you are no ghost or you have no ghost? What am I? <laughs> Wait, say your poem again. How's it going? What is going? Okay then. <laughs> what is happening? How's it going? Hey, what is... What were you saying earlier about, like, the sky and the... I just want to break it apart, but it <laughs> I can't even throw a thing at it. Can I? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, okay, we have a... Oh my god, what the hell is that? Okay. That can't be a good thing. That didn't look good. Would you like to have it, Mr. Snowman? How's it going? Okay, okay! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him! <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what the hell is going on right now. We still have no contacts for this. Oh, okay, we make a better one, maybe? Make a better snowman? Yeah, okay. okay. Maybe we don't want that one, because that one was lame. Nope. Put it back here. Yeah. And that. Okay. Alright, take two. Uh... What? Oh, it's like a yes, no. It says yes and no on it. What the hell is this? Like a primitive Ouija board? You can have it as a nose or something, I don't know. You don't have to have eyes. I mean, that's... purely arbitrary. <laughs> that's horrible! That looks horrible! No, I'll give you eyes, because I'm nice. Do you want, like, four arms, maybe? Do you want, like, antlers? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Maybe? Oh my god, that's- wait, it's nighttime now, what the heck? Hello? Hello? Are you okay? Well, just before now, I was dead. And I'm still dead, so there's that. Oh, sorry. Maybe this means I can leave these woods. And go wherever dead people go? Is that how that works? Yeah, because the dead people get trapped in here. I think I was in some sort of a daze. And this woke me up. If you want to return the favor, I need some help. I can tell your fortune. I can contact the dead. I need to find the forest god. I need to get through the woods. Oh, well the first part's easy enough. Find the shrine and say North's Canticle. What is that? What is that? In their wings, in their trees, all things die, be at peace. Cease all care, they are coming. God of the forest, carry us. Where did you learn that? We only said it in church twice a week. And also five times a day. Didn't you? I wasn't a churchgoer. I'm not from around here. Once, I wasn't either. <laughs> Listen. I still have some remnant of my sensitivities. What? If you're lost, I can try to point you in the right direction. Thanks. Okay, well, that's very kind of you. Who are you? I mean, are you a ghost? I don't know. 
Who were you before? I was a fortune teller and a medium. A real one? Real enough. See, I found this thing in a tree, and then I knew I had to build you here, somehow. In seances, we would often hold an object of importance to the deceased. Did it work? Well enough. As for why here, well, you died here. Yeah. Sometimes a grave is the best place to contact the dead. Oh god, is this your grave? Not mine. It appears to be someone's final resting place. Who buries people way out here? The snow? <laughs> yeah. Not to harp on this and thank you again for your help. But do you know whose body is under you? No idea. I don't think it matters. Just a connection to wherever. Were you... um... someplace else until now? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even seem real. This is like a waking dream. This is weird. Yes, it is. That That is weird. We do have our answers now, so we don't have to talk to weird snow. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that now? A lock with a key. It's open. Do I have to make it? Oh lord. Hello? How's it going? What is going? <laughs> this one is still crazy. But we don't have another spot to make another one. And oh god, where has the shrine been? We haven't seen the shrine or the house in a while now. Ah, there are a lot of graves and resting spots here. Hey, whoa. Hey. <gasps> no, what did you do to the mouse? Um, hello? Evening. Where is... Oh my god. You ate Father Patience forget not God? No, he left. You're wearing his little hat! <laughs> he gave me his hat. Like, I believe that. I feel so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? It's not for me or the mouse, it's for the shrine. Hmm. Purr. Oh, crap. <laughs> Whatever, let's just do it. In their wings, in their trees. Continue. All things die, be at peace. Continue. Cease all care, they are coming. What's this one? Yeah, why are you helping me? It's weird. Cease all care, they are coming. Continue. Should I be feeling something? Something? Like, is this gonna do something? You don't feel a great sense of awe and wonder? And connection to something larger than yourself? No. Your loss. <laughs> I feel that when I look at the stars. Back in the world, stars are kind of my job. Oh, are you like an astronomer or something? We're still in the world, still the same stars too. Okay, let's finish this. Let's. God of the forest, carry us. Very nice. So those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are there ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? Well, I think sometimes people stay with you long after they're gone. Is grandma a ghost now? Oh, that's my grandpa. <laughs> On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, May. I'll be around to see your own kids. No, you won't. Well, May, that's not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean, I don't ever want kids, ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll all howl at the moon. <sighs> Never change, May. Hold up. 
It's a family of cats, right? This cat wants to have a cat as a pet? <laughs> this cat wants two cats and a dog? And what's that supposed to be anyway? A crocodile? A dinosaur? Oh, we're somewhere else now. Oh no, I think I left. And the cat is gone for some reason. What the hell? But we just have to see it again, and we're back in. Alright. Well, let's get going. Whoa. That ain't gonna get the- <laughs> I don't think I can get enough velocity for this. Yeah, that's not- I can't- <laughs> Well, how the hell am I supposed to get anything going on? Oh, oh, hold on. Ah. Ow. But I got multiple here. What if I roll all of these up? Oh. Gonna be like here? Oh, don't- no, 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 Don't roll down. Whoa, what are you making here? No, 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 come back, come back. And then I can get more from here, because that one rolled away. There we go. Oh, again. Okay, well, this time I can use the lock. Do I need anything else? <laughs> no face. What about this one? Hmm, need to find something special for this face. Probably more in the woods, I'd reckon. Okay, sure. Let's go back. Are we... Conjuring more dead people. I don't even know what the hell is happening here. That's okay. That's okay. It's a ghost story. We're getting somewhere Yeah earlier that thing we picked up that was like a weird Ouija board thing, right? So it summoned a fortune teller and now we have a caller. So maybe it's gonna summon I don't know an animal trainer or a pet The other thing though that was a lock a lock that's opened so maybe we'll Find a lock picker? I got no clue, man. Hey, those dots have slowly been disappearing. Oh, the dots are the amount of snowballs I have. I just realized. Okay, that's cool. Hello there. Ugh, what do you want? Sorry to bother you, but I need your help. Oh, crap, I died, didn't I? This is so typical. Listen, by me bringing you here. I think you'll be able to get out of the woods and do whatever dead people do. Is that something I want? I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Follow my lead. Your lead of what? Well, we can talk to this guy. You want the collar on your... neck? Around your neck? Or right on your face? Sure, why not? <laughs> Hello there. Arf! Oh, it's a dog. Oh, you're a dog. Arf! I'm not sure if this is really helpful, but okay. <sighs> your caller said Clancy. Is that your name? Arf! Arf! I hope you don't screw this up for me, Clancy. But I hope soon you'll be able to move on to wherever dead dogs go. Arf! Okay, boy, follow my lead. Uh, what exactly is your lead here, man? Oh, good God, I don't even know what we're doing. We doing this? As soon as I figure out what it is that we're doing, actually. Do we need another snowman? Cause... I notice there's still more stuff here. 
Yeah. No? It's just there? Okay, well, in that case... Like, I don't want to jump off a cliff, but... What the hell else are we supposed to be doing here? Um... I really have no clue. Oh! Oh, whoa! I, oh! I almost hit it! Just now! <gasps> I just gotta get the angle right! Oh, come on! That was so close! There you go! Hello? Hello, traveler! Travelers! We seek an audience with the forest god! I am God Tender Brown! Who are you now? I'm Empress Astra, and this is my Imperial Advisor, Aimhin. Hey! And my Archbishop, Clancy! Arf! We have traveled long through the night to be here! May we pass through? You have a dog for an Archbishop? That is no dog! Archbishop Clancy speaks the language of beasts. Signs and wonders! When Clancy was but a child, he longed to bring peace to the beasts of the field. Yup. Beasts of the field, that's what he did. Arf! And he was blessed with the ability to speak to them. Why does he not speak to us? He's profoundly stupid. Stupid with wisdom, that is. What? Uh, he has forgotten how to speak. Such is his dedication. What devotion? He is a candidate for sainthood, where we come from. It's a very low bar to hurdle. Beatification, while he yet lives? Whoever has heard of such a thing? Do we want to tell him the truth? He's not alive. He's a ghost. A ghost? I'm sorry, but this is too spooky for me. No! No, don't go! Damn it. Wow, what a wuss. Hey, you sure did screw that up. Arr! Everybody, shut up! God Tender Brown, are you there? Yes? Are you afraid of one little saintly ghost? Yes? Oh, won't you come back and let us through? Can you promise me that your ghost will not spook me? What do you think, Aimhin? Arr! Wasn't that Clancy? I will let you pass, on the condition that no one gets spooked. Thank you, Godtender. Allow me. Cross onto the holy mountain. Thank you. Thank you. May my friends pass as well? Wait! Yes? I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this long as night. Why not? I... Oh, uh, we... Have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but... But... The forest god is sick. They are old and dying. And they cannot see you. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. Sick? How can a god be sick? I do not know. If only I knew what was happening! We god tenders are tasked with caring for the forest god. But this sickness, we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since St. Cecil began tending God. Oh no. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. The peace? But centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. 
and not long after they became ill. Her? Do you mean the hunter? Do not say her name here! My heart is broken. My god is sick and old. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, God Tender. There's nothing you can do, Empress. As representative of the Forest Throne, I say that no power of the Forest God shall bar your way this long as night. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. Wow, this is all getting very dramatic. And I, I <laughs> What the hell is ha- Okay, we're trying to see the forest god for the longest night. So that's basically what we've been trying to go through so far. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't need to be back here. He let me out because he said that no one's going to block me anymore, right? So hopefully we're going to be able to pass through this place. Fine. Hopefully, we won't run into the coffin guy again, though. Oh, what do you want? Hey, Sticky! What is Sticky? I named you Sticky. Because of... Sticky... The sticks. Sticky... Yup. Why is Sticky... O okay, yeah, uh, keep going. Good job, you're doing good. Hey, what about you? This one's more... This one's more level-headed. Hello. I'm looking for the hunter? I never found her. And maybe that's a good thing. She is not the forest god. She does not grant passage. She is something altogether more. Nihilist? Is that the word? Huh. She's an impulse playing itself out. She isn't the first, and she won't be the last. What? Oh, I don't know, child. I'm just talking. You'll never find her hollow without something to help you. And I never found out what it was. Thanks anyway. Be careful. You're getting into something here. Hmm. Okay, well, seems like we are up against something dangerous. The Huncher, whoa! Hello? It's a king! Hello? Ho oh, there, traveler! Hello? What is your business here tonight? Uh... Not much, you? We're doing much! <laughs> Come with us, we can do much! <laughs> right you are, Stevenson! She can't come with us! You're right! <laughs> what? Big plans then? We have our agenda for an audience with the forest god! Oh! Same goal here! We have the severed arm of a criminal and the fire to light it! What? Well, that sounds... Wait, an arm? The arm of a dead criminal. Donated, of course. By who? Oh! Ha ha ha! Oh, Stevenson. And you're going to set it on fire? Yes! And it will light the way to the Hunter's Hollow. <sighs> this forest. Well, best of luck! Best of luck to everyone! Even you! We have enough luck to go around! What the hell is wrong with this entire forest, man? So, is this your land? You look like a king, but why are you in silence? <laughs> I was just saying, because you're a king and all. I may be a king. You may be! But there are kings and there are gods. Yes, yes. Oh. And as king, I granted these lands to the Baroness Lalopsy. And she sure did die. Sure did. 
Lilopsy Manor's gone all weird now. Sure has. Last spring, Traveler saw this pale thing come out of the bog there and... Well, let's head out. Miles to go, man. Miles to go. It seems like they're hiding something. I don't like this. Beautiful forest, don't you think? All right. No? Okay, well... The arm of a criminal, and they're gonna set it on fire. We've seen a lot of arms, yeah. Well, I need an arm. And that's an arm. If I'm lucky, the skeleton is a criminal. Was. This used to be alive. Now I just need to find a fire to stick it in. Oh god. It's cold! We need to- we need the arm and the fire to summon the- summon an audience with the forest god or something. Hey, you got a fire in here, don't ya? Oh, right there. Hello, can I interest you in a- what is that? It's an arm! Goodbye now! Goodbye! Oh, no, I need to borrow your stove. It's, it's an arm. I need to borrow your stove. Wait, what are you doing? Putting the skeleton arm in your stove? Uh, no. No, you're not. Shh. <laughs> you did it anyway. It is done. Oh, that is messed up. You're telling me. Please leave now. Yes, that is the way to do things. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. <laughs> okay, well... Wh whoa! Whoa! The Hunter! Oh, this is a great story now. Oh, you like the spooky stuff, huh? You know I do. I hate the other stuff. Well, the other stuff is important too. Hang in there. Okay, I guess. Did we get eaten? Ooh, well, we don't have the arm anymore. Nor the fire. But we are somewhere else. We should have banded up with the king while we could. Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? Oh, girl, it's all over now. Whoa! They're teleporting me to places. I don't know if I like that. <gasps> there are old bodies in the north where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dirt and ice for millennia. In some of them, there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday, the earth will warm and the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. Is that guy playing the music up there? Up in the attic area? <laughs> that began when we were first born. Kid! Will you please stop that honking? Nope. Fine, kid. Fine. I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. Um, I, I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? I think you know the answer, you just showed up. Ugh, we all just show up. Staying is the problem. But you won't have to worry about that. Will you? Is that an extremely vague threat? Her? Vague threats? Oh, I'll get specific with you, kid. I'm going to bury your pieces in a lonely hollow. Not even bury them. I didn't bury the last one. And she did chores. Oh, well, that's not looking very good for us. Your family will never find you. Oh, no, not that. Uh, is, is this your normal dynamic? This is the dynamic of everything. No different for her. 
They didn't even give you a name back at the sawmill, did they, kid? Just kid? Excuse me, the full name was Sawmill Kid. Well, now you're just kid. They didn't name you? Oh? You never realize how little and how much you need a name until they refuse you yours. Huh. I'm sorry to keep staring us back to this, but I must reach the frozen lake. Wait, what's my name? I don't even know what my name is. <laughs> when you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? When something's down in the brambles, I can never see it. You just threatened me. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I keep the most prized in a shrine, so precious is it to me. And so painful. We have to keep the precious and painful close. Uh, I feel like we keep getting off track here. <sighs> I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off with your skin. When you leave, you're going down into the brambles like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather. Because the weather vane got knocked around again. It's a really stupid system you have going there. When I get out to do that, I'll look out on the hollow and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. Why don't you just kill me now then? Because of that smell! Ah, she can't kill me. Okay, well... What are you anyway? I'm an astronomer, former apprentice. Oh, so yeah, astronomer. Oh, honey, all of those stars in your head. They will go out like candles tonight. Uh, what are you? A fox? The forest god isn't really a god. I am twice their size. Oh, okay, so forest god is like normal sized, like my size. I am twice as real. Honestly, Whoever you are, even you're twice as real as they are. <laughs> Adina. Adina Astra. A ridiculous name. You named yourself, I can tell. Oh, that's my name, Adina Astra. Just the last part. Now, what would make a little girl change her last name? <sighs> Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere. As did the woman before me. And we found the cabin and I fed the oven. And we survived and then I survived. And the quarrel with the forest god went on for centuries. Until it ended quite recently. Well, shut it, kid. I swear if I wasn't physically present in here, she'd talk about anything. What is that little shrine you got going on up there? Are you worshipping something? Are you a witch? What is a witch? You mean the women in the woods! A man in the woods is a hermit or a woodsman or a huntsman. They didn't have a name for women who weren't where they should be. So they stole a name they feared and hated. And pressed it onto us. Onto you? The word they use for girls like me is kidnapped. Ah, okay. Ah, I can't really tell who's a girl and a boy here. I guess it doesn't really matter, but okay, everybody here is a girl, I guess. This one every day, I swear. Won't do chores. Back sass, sass mouth. <laughs> Why not send her back where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. Cause you like her. We're done talking. I'm sorry, Adina Astra. I know you wanted to live, but I've taken that future from you. And it's mine now. And you can't take it back. Oh, well, uh, I'm really sorry for... Oh, your house is right here again. I don't have to come in. In fact, I can't go in. Oh my god, look at the weather vane. It's a knife. <laughs> okay. 
I guess they live out here in the woods. A witch and a kidnapped girl. Some of that weird snow is way up there in the trees. Need a good strong wind. <laughs> Just need to control the wind is all. Simple. I bet you could do that. I bet you could with the weather vane. I mean, it's supposed to be the other way around, but we are in some magical lands here, so I don't doubt that we could fix that up. <laughs> That's not how that works. Okay, maybe I need to get up on the stairs. I am so smart. <laughs> ah, ah, down you go! Ugh. I am not going to die here tonight. I'm just not. I need to see what's in this hollow. I need to get into the house. Okay, let's go. Wait, so what was the problem there? She saw me? Is she not supposed to see me? How do I prevent her from seeing me? Hey, we got a... We got a snowball here now. That wasn't there before. Yeah. Oh, I think we need to find, like, more snowballs. Hey, you got another one here. We good? Need something special for this. Oh god, I have to get back into the house. This is the worst longest night ever. Yeah, I guess longest night must be winter solstice, huh? Okay, well, I got my snowballs. That witch can't hurt me. She can't hurt me. Coming back. She seemed nice enough, though. Uh, the door's not open, so I gotta do that, maybe? Here she comes! Stay off my porch! Oh, did I get caught? Hey, how do I not get... Mm. I'm so cold, so cold. No! I'm an astronomer! Those are my skies, damn it! I'm gonna survive this. I think I might need to, like, hide or something. So I was thinking maybe I could go under the porch, but it's like, I don't even know how to get under the porch. Well, I hope that works. I don't know. Yes. Here? Accepted! You're freezing in the brambles tonight! No, she still saw me. She seems distracted by that weather thing. Maybe... Uh, I need to look for a way to hide. And she keeps turning that weather vane back. Where the hell do I hide? I mean, I can't really hide anywhere, can I? Maybe I'll just run back the way I came from. To the brambles! Yeah! Squirrels! North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark! Ugh, this weather never behaves! Oh, oh! And I'm in. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time. Blue fire in the north, I have discovered your secret name! Is that girl just gonna let me do this? Thanks! Hey, how'd I get down? Hey, man. I can get you out of here. You can't even get yourself out of here. I can barely get out of the attic. And away from that extremely creepy shrine. Uh-oh, she's coming back. It's not safe for you here. Did you know I made that poison and she never even thanked me? She'll take all the credit for it. What? I know, right? Murdering a god isn't something you want to let someone else take credit for. Ah! Oh my god, get away! I took way too long. Oh, I already took it. What the? I didn't need to come back in here. Hold on. Okay, I I'm out of here. I'm sorry, homegirl. I don't got time to talk to you. How do I get out of here? Get away if you can. Oh, maybe if I like... What if I stay up here? <laughs> I don't know how to get out. 
Uh oh. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, they are coming back, they are coming back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Are we good? I think we are. Wow, that was a long, perilous journey. Whoo! But we did it. And for what? I don't really know. We are going to the frozen lake. Which, to be honest, was news to me, because I don't remember learning about that until she told someone else. <laughs> okay, was this the special thing? You get eyes, because I'm feeling generous. You get some arms, too. You get a little... What? No. No. <coughs> no. <gasps> oh, it's the previous girl that she said she killed, right? The one who did chores. What is this? Oh. Oh god. No. Girl, what have you done? You... you watched it happen! You watched! It wasn't me! It was this place! It was the oven! It was what you became! I didn't get to choose what happened to me! I was so cold! I was so afraid! I had to survive! And I did not! Did you eat her? What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl! I was her twin! We fled into the woods, identical in all things! Except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. Oh! <gasps> Is that what we put on the snowman? Skin? I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you. That is as long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... I... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry. I never meant to. Get out! <sighs> <clears throat> Whoa, my god, my throat. Yes, May? <clears throat> what is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Oh, it's quite a statement. I'm really smart. <laughs> well, you came up with that plan to rob banks. So clearly, you're onto something. I want to know what this is about. I think you have to figure that one out on your own. I don't like that. Hmm. Oh, what the heck? We're back into the beginning of our journey. What is this about? There's like forest gods and wolf ladies in the forest, but I don't know anything. We must be close, right? It's all, like, bright again. Oh, we're back here. Are you kidding me? Are you gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky. Oh, What about the other guy? You. The fortune teller. Hey! Hey, you! Still alive, eh? I just saw a lot of the trees give a great shudder. Like they were falling into line. And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. What do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. I don't think... I'm a bit nervous about the frozen lake. 
Do you know the story? Not really. Of how the lake was so deep. It went down to the grave. And the dead came to the surface. And spoke with the living? Of how it was so black. That it ate the moon's reflection? And how the moon, being jealous, convinced the sun to turn its back on the lake. So it would be forever frozen? That is why the dead may be found beneath the ice. For they can no longer leave those waters. Did any of that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. Ooh, spooky spooky. Hey there, you okay? I didn't have a chance to ask about you. And how you got here. I think I'm gone. I can hardly hear you. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. You saved my life, fortune teller. I was a real one, you know. It was real to me. Even if... My sister in the walls. Hello? Oh, Goodbye. It's like their snowman magic fades away. Okay, well... She mentioned unfinished business, but I honestly don't think we have any. Unless if we go in here again. Do we want to talk to the snowman here? Yeah, that's- we're not getting anywhere here. She's got it. She's got what? It was a lock and key. Only one set like them. Yeah? Hello? Hmm. They're all fading. What about you? This is the worst longest night ever. Here's to better days. Hey, I can go past you! What? <gasps> I've never seen this part before. Oh! Oh no, poor Stevenson. Looks like this thing took a beating from something huge, so... I wonder if there's a head in there. Not checking. Why wouldn't she check? I would. So would I. If I ever find a body part on the ground, I am gonna poke it with a stick. Can't argue with you there. Uh, that's the, the people, the king. What happened to them? Oh, you can also leave here. I never even went that way before. Okay, well, I think that's really all of the unfinished business we have. Unless if this guy, the coffin guy, wants to talk to me. You're a fraud! Why, hello. Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one takes you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost in cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the forest god's mountain. To the hunter's hollow for god's sake. And yet here you are, back at my cabin. Not more than an hour after you last left. Oh! This might be all a hallucination. Letting the heat out and the cold in. Busy night for you, eh? Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Hell's warm at least. Good night. Well. I don't know anymore, man. Magical things are happening in this land and... It's hard to tell what's real or not. She's gone. We gotta get going too. If we wanna find whatever it is we're supposed to find at the frozen lake. Wait, what are we looking for again? It's been so long I don't even remember anymore. A star? Weren't we looking for a star for a her or something? Oh. Uh, I'm going east, but we just keep looping. Yeah, I feel like we just keep 
Uh oh. There we are. What? Oh my god, I thought that tree stump was part of the cat body. <laughs> hey cat, figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? You're not dead yet. I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. You're such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to, just passing through. Isn't that always the way? I have to go- Ooh. So who are you, really? Pardon? You some magical cat? Cat god? Cat wizard? Something? Is it the forest god? I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn. Who are you? I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. Oh, that's why she's trying to get the star back. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. Purr. The hunter, her child, the forest god, those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You were in their forest. I'm an astronomer. It may be their forest, but it's under my sky. Haha, <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. <laughs> Goodbye, Adina the Astronomer. Good luck. You know my name. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Is the night long because the sun won't rise or something? Because of the stars? I don't know. Oh my goodness. We are on the frozen lake. Here to take back the star. Oh my god! You know, I doubt it you would make it. A promise is a promise. How is home? Oh! Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the Fifth Street Bridge again on the longest night eve. <laughs> the farmers were there all day, trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't, so ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did, my first night dead. It's there. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something, at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away. There is this thing bigger than I can think about. Burning away, exploding. And between us is this sheet of black. And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name, and we give ourselves a name for doing so. Astronomy, astronomer. All of it creates this connection. And that connection, that becomes a thing we can touch. 
you appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you got a star out of it. That's something at least. Haha. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you. And that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? <sighs> you look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. So that was the Lost Constellation. I don't really know what to think about that. Like, that was kind of interesting, but there wasn't really too much context for anything. Which I'm hoping will change when the main game starts. But um, yeah, that was interesting. Although, like, yeah, those guys there, like, what the hell was that about? The king and all. I felt like it was kind of like a, a musical the whole time. Like, the way I was reading the dialogue, it made me feel very dramatic. <laughs> But we were looking for the lost star, and in the end we found it. Her! That was the lady that was in the lake, right? Someone dead already. Hmm. So I guess that was nice that we got to see her again, too. Hmm. That's that. Oh? Oh. Okay, I mean, I guess I can save. And that's that. The Lost Constellation. Well, okay, we went through the two supplemental games. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how I should feel about Night in the Woods right now. Both of them were kind of contextless, so... It was a nice look into what sorts of things we'll be seeing, maybe soundtrack-wise and dialogue-wise. AKA, it's gonna be a lot of talking for me. Which is, you know, whatever. But, um, hmm, yeah, I think I enjoyed that. Although, like I said, not too sure what it's really about yet. Didn't really see the parts about, you know, the college dropout returning to the hometown yet, so I guess we'll be seeing that when we start the main game next time. Alright, see you soon. <laughs>